So my electric car starts up just like a regular car. Put the key in, click it on. That pre-charges the drive and the drive will then allow me to turn the key to the start position which closes the main contactor. And I have a switch here that allows me to kill the drive in case anything goes wrong. So I'll turn that on and we're ready to drive. So here you can see my battery voltage is 290. And if I accelerate, this is full full speed ramp. Drops to about 260. Now I'm going to do full brake. It's about 345 until I come to a stop. You can see the voltage increase showing that we're dumping energy back into the battery. So I'll just go for a quick drive around the block. The new drive lets me do an S ramp instead of a linear ramp, so it takes a lot of the jerkiness out of the car. And it also lets me define a custom volts per hertz curve. So instead of having a, a straight line curve with some DC boost, this drive lets me define 10 points on a curve, and that lets me flux the motor better at low speed, so I get a lot better low speed torque, and I don't have that slipping, jerking feeling, so just uh, get up to the stop sign up here. And I can drive the car all the way to a stop just by using the regen brakes. So it regens all the way down to zero speed. It accelerates like a regular car. I accelerate faster than I normally would. And I don't even have to hit the brake at all. The regen brake brings me all the way down to zero speed.